victim, no crime. No victim, no crime. No victim, no crime. You have to stand up to the cops at some point, and I've done it before. Uh, a 420 uh, rally um, down uh, Nashua. There's people out there, and there's some, uh, a lot of open smoking going on. There's two undercover cops milling around. We weren't aware of it, of course, because they were undercover wearing plain clothes. And I saw some commotion over to the side. They had apparently pulled their badges out, and they were arresting uh, a gentleman named Lewis. I went up to the cops, and they, they uh, there was a bunch of people there, and. They put the guy in the car, and I saw the friend stand, kind of standing off to the side in front of the police car, and I decided to join her. The cops both got in the cars, and one of them got out and told me to move. I didn't move, and they uh, told me a couple times. Back up. He was getting out of the way, man. Back up. Come on! Why are you doing? Come on! How many of us will you take? You guys gotta get out of the road. Get out of the road. What? Leave him alone. He's a peaceful man. Calm down. Nobody's gonna hurt anybody. Come on. Hey, what are you talking about? You just smoke pot. You are Actually, just take like a step back a little bit, and he came up to me and he grabbed my arm. At that point, I went down on my knees and clasped my hands together kind of tight, because I wanted them to, if at that point it was obvious they were going to arrest me, I wanted them to handcuff me to the front, because when they handcuff you to the back, the seats in the cop cars are rather hard, and they're kind of very uncomfortable if you have handcuffs on your wrists while lean, leaning on your wrists. The only one that was really difficult was the initial arresting officer. He was angry, really angry, like, like I was doing this to him personally. He actually took over taking me into the police station where he either threatened to mace me again inside the police station or spray me, as he put it, I guess. But anyway, they took me into the, the processing room or whatever, and I initially only gave my name and address. I would not give them my social security card or my social security number or birthday. They put me in a cell, and they said a couple times I wasn't going to be released unless I gave it to them. I finally gave them the information, not because they really convinced me, because I didn't want to get fired from my job, because I have to be at my job tomorrow. And I didn't want to be there till Monday, which is what would happen if they couldn't bail me out. Or they couldn't agree to. They did uh, bail me out on personal recognizance. They fingerprinted me. They took my smiling photo. Thing. I was told it was about three and a half hours later when I finally got out. Uh, there were some friends there to, to meet me. Several of them, actually. Apparently, there had been a whole mass of people in the lobby at one point, police lobby. And they were singing music. <laughs> Which I thought was fantastic. We will never bow to you. <laughs> we will never bow to you. No victim, no crime. There was no victim in the situation. At least, you know, the Lewis guy, he was just smoking. He wasn't hurting anybody. He wasn't harassing anybody. As an undercover cop, they could have picked up anyone in there. They, for whatever reason, decided to focus on him. Let him go. Walk out the door. Come to me I'm gonna set you